it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Um, today's project is this one. It's a slightly different uh, card fold for me, certainly. Um, it's not original by any manner or means, but it's a kind of Z card with an extra um, flap just over the top. Um, I have a number of team birthdays this month. Um, so this is actually my team birthday card. It uses the Hug in a Mug stamp set, which is in the Autumn Winter Catalogue, and also the Happy Birthday Gorgeous, because I'm using this Happy Birthday stamp. Um, but obviously you can use it for, you can use it with any birthday uh, sentiment, or indeed just have it as a Hug in a Mug. So um, I am using the Powder Pink um, cardstock for this. Um, the Powder Pink Shimmer Ribbon, uh, the surprisingly Powder Pink stamp set, uh, or uh, ink pad rather, the Blushing Bride ink pad, and the Chocolate Chip. Um, and then I will be adding a little bit of a Wink of Stella, because everything's better with sparkle. So, as the battery on my camera is already running down, let's get started. I'm going to start with a wee bit of heat embossing. Nothing quite like putting pressure on myself when I am running out of battery. The answer, of course, would have been to charge the battery again before I started the video, but let's see how we get on. So I'm inking this up with Versamark um, and then grabbing my embossing buddy and just popping that across the back of my, or front of my card with the sentiment the right way up which is always a plan just stamp straight down and grab copper embossing powder because it's got that kind of pink hue um, and then dribble that over the sentiment I like to just do that twice just in case and then just a bit of a flick. Yep, that looks all right. So pop that out of harm's way and grab my trusty cheese board and my heat tool and warm up my heat gun and go for a bit of alchemy. Can you see that? Yes. So I do not do the wafting method. I do the find a spot and wait until it has melted method. Um, I find that more successful. And just check. Yep, that's all done. So really quick, and it really isn't a difficult technique. Yes, the card is a bit wobbly, but a bit of fast fuse and we'll sort that out. Um, so then let's grab our unscored card base um, and score that. This is a piece of A6 card cut in half down the middle and then I'm just scoring it. Uh, so I've done it the long thin way and I'm going to score this at just under six inches, so five and seven eighths. And then because I am one of those people that likes to do things this way, I'm going to turn it over and then score it at three inches. So this flap will be three inches, this fold will be slightly under three inches, um, but hey, that's just the way I rock. Um, then this will fold that way, that will fold that way, and we'll be done. But before we do that, we're going to do a bit of uh, dry embossing. So we've done heat embossing. So now we're going to do some dry embossing and we're going to use the quilt top embossing folder. And all I'm going to do is with this flap, pop it into the folder and line it up so that the crease is at the bottom of the pattern and so that it is square on a pattern. Um, by which I mean that it's not skew if, And it does actually fit, because it is three inches, it does fit quite nicely um, between these circles. And this I'm then going to run through the Big Shot using the multi-purpose platform without the thin die adapter. 
Um, so, usual sandwich, and I shall be back shortly with that. Famous last words, of course. There we are with the embossed piece only on the front, which is what we want. We can then give everything a bit of a crease. And I'm going to crease this from the back because I don't want to squash the embossing that we've just done too much. But there we are. The um, insert is just a piece of very vanilla. Um, and that's cut to my usual five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. As ever, the dimensions will be on the associated blog post, which is linked below. And Fast Fuse, which is in the World Card Making Day offer, um, which runs until the 10th of October. There are uh, reduced 15% off some stamp sets, uh, note cards and envelopes. And if you buy a Fast Fuse, you get two refills free. Um, which is always good to know. So that's that done. I'm not putting any sentiment there because I've got the sentiment here. So then we've just got to do the stamping for the mug. Um, the first thing I'm actually going to stamp is the cream on top. And there is method in my madness. And if it works, it'll be great. And if it doesn't, then it doesn't. So get that down and pop that on the stamp set. Then I've got the cream dribbling down the side of the mug. So I want to, actually I want to stamp that first. It's wonderful when you put your brain in gear, isn't it? And again, I'm using, this is chocolate chip because it's chocolate chip card. So I'm going to try and pop this so that it's above where the line would cut. which I nearly managed. But there's a way of sorting all of this out if it does go a bit do lally. So I'm then going to pop this, which I've just stamped the same image, but on a piece of post-it note. Um, and then that will mask it off. So then stamp the mug over the top of that. and take that off and it nearly worked it so nearly worked um but the idea was to have a gap um it nearly worked so we'll sort that out so with a chocolate chip marker all i will do is add on the extra bits um, and i'll not worry that it has a line because there is no point in worrying about these things right so i've got the curly q biscuit to go, which I'll take that off, the curly Q biscuit to go at the top here. And then the only other thing, whoops, the only other thing that needs stamping is the inner and the zigzag. Oh, and I'm running out of battery. So let's get rid of that and bring in our powder pink. And again, I need my little dribble just to mask that off. So powder pink, see if I can do this before the battery dies. Over the top, and I'm gonna leave my mask in place and go with blushing bride, Ooh, a flying blushing bride because I'm worrying about the battery. Let's stop worrying about the battery and just get this done. Add the zigzags. And take the mask off. Keep that. Wink of Stella, make sure the ball is doing its thing. Add Wink of Stella to your cream and your dribble. Then cut 
a piece of a ribbon. Still got a little bit of battery left. Now what I will cut, because I am running out of time, is putting the bow on. It's not actually a bow, it's just a tie. Um, I will explain how I did it, um, but I think that might be asking a bit much of my battery. So I'm just putting fast fuse there and the other side. Attach that, and what I would do is tie a... If I get time at the end, I'll show you, but I tied a knot just round the ribbon. Um, and then I'm going to add fast fuse to the whole of the back of this piece because this is the one that we heat embossed. So we need to try and flatten that out as much as possible and I'll put some across the middle as well, just in case. Then a mat, all of the measurements are below so don't worry that I'm not giving you those. You can just pop over to my website for those. Then this goes on here again with fast fuse. Whoops. And if you get a trail of fast fuse, just break it. Oh, we're still going. Marvellous. Um, and then just pop that so that it's sort of square. And I will just see if I can add this. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, uh, please do so, bottom right hand corner. I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers in time for my birthday on the 1st of November. Um, if you want to try and win a uh, Merry Pattern stamp set, um, I am doing a draw for every £25 you spend in my online store, you get an entry and that's going to run until the end of October and the draw will be on my birthday. Uh, and there are some offers, details of which are on my blog, which is all linked below. Phew! Did it! There we go. So two birthday cards for people in my team. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you again very soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye!